Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Conan and today we're going to be talking about fats. More specifically, healthy fats versus unhealthy fats. Because yes, there is a difference. Now before we begin guys, just know that fats are a crucial part of your everyday diet. I see so many people neglect fats or they're scared of fats because they think that fat will turn into fat, but that can be further from the truth. And now yes, there is some truth behind that, meaning that if fat goes into your body it doesn't have to convert into fat because it's already fat but the only way that it actually gets stored as fat is when eating too much of it or just too many calories in general right calorie surplus will obviously aid in weight gain whereas if you're maintaining your calories or eating a calorie maintenance or in a calorie deficit you will not gain fat and having healthy fats as part of your diet is a great way to not only give you more energy and also help support cell growth, protecting organs, and also helps keep your body nice and warm as well, right? They also help absorb the absorption of certain nutrients and the production of important hormones, including your testosterone, your energy, or your estrogen levels, maintaining a good healthy ratio between the two. And then also like your sex drive, your libido, all that good stuff, right? Because I made the mistake in the past before um, when I did my bodybuilding show back in 2020 one where I pretty much neglected all of my fats, right? Because although fats are awesome, like they are a bit more calorically dense. And when you're on a super low calorie diet, um, it's like most people don't want to waste all of their calories on fats necessarily because they do take a big kind of chunk in terms of like calories per gram. Um, and so I made that mistake and I definitely noticed some huge, huge downsides in just my testosterone, uh, my libido, sex drive, even my energy levels as well. And uh, it was not a good time, right? Um, but like I mentioned at the beginning, not all fats are created equal. And so here's a quick little breakdown of healthy versus unhealthy fats. So let's start with the healthy ones. So these are often referred to as unsaturated fats and are super beneficial to your health when consumed in moderation, right? Anything in moderation is totally cool, but specifically the healthy fats. And they can help reduce the bad cholesterol levels, right? The LDL lowers the risk of heart disease and provides essential fatty acids that the body cannot produce on its own. These fats are typically liquid at room temperature and can be found in a variety of plant-based foods and oils. And so there's two different kinds here. There's monounsaturated fats, um, which include olive oil, avocados, nuts, seeds, and then also nut butters like nut butters, peanut butter, cashew butter, almond butter. Um, I personally love avocados. I have at least one a day. Um, peanut butter as well, the crunchy version, the natural one, is also an everyday staple in my diet. And like I mentioned, the benefits include improved cholesterol levels, reduced heart disease risk, and also provide nutrients for cell maintenance. And now the other kinds are polyunsaturated fats. And now these include sunflower oil, flax seeds, walnuts, fish, especially the fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines. And now these include omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, which are essential for brain function, cell growth, and reducing inflammation. They are also known for their heart protective benefits. So these are the ones that I want you guys to write down and make part of your grocery shopping list to optimize your health in general. And now the unhealthy ones, and again, don't be scared of these. Like, again, every, everything in moderation is totally fine. But if you can try your best to eat more of the healthier kinds and less of the unhealthy kinds, you'll be far out or better off, right? And so these are typically known as saturated or trans fats. And they can negatively impact health by raising your bad cholesterol, increasing the risk of heart disease, and contributing to other health issues. These fats are typically solid at room temperature and are found in both animal products and some processed foods. So the saturated fats include red meat, poultry skin, like the skin you get on like the chicken, for example, full fat dairy products like butter, cheese and cream, and palm oil. And now the effect it can have on your body is like I mentioned, it can help increase your LDL, the low density lipoprotein cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol in your blood, increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. And it is recommended to limit um, the saturated fat intake to less than 10% of your total daily calories. And now the trans fats, these are most of like the processed packaged foods, like the junk food, the fried foods, the whatever, pizza, burgers, fries, you name it. Um, and now these also increase your LDL cholesterol and also decrease your HDL, so the high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, the good cholesterol um, in your body, right, which significantly increases or raises the risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. So all these things obviously do not sound too, too fun, right? But now keep in mind that if you have one piece of 
pizza or one burger or like a couple fries like it's not gonna kill you like please do not get scared of this like i'm all about moderation but just know that again if you're the majority of your diet consists of these types of foods it's like you may have to reconsider right and now trans fats also have been largely phased out of many products due to their health risks but it is still important to kind of check the labels for any trans fat contents and now a couple key takeaways like i kind of briefly discussed throughout the video is for healthy diets, it is crucial to balance um, the fat intake by prioritizing mainly um, the monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats and limiting your saturated fat intake. And try your best to avoid the trans fats as much as possible. And so try to incorporate a variety of fat sources to ensure a good balance of essential fatty acids. And by making informed choices about these types of fats you consume, you can support your overall health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. But typically speaking, unless you're eating in a calorie surplus and most of your foods come from this, I wouldn't say it's a big issue. But um, just know that fats are really important. There's a reason why they're one of the three macronutrients. We need all three of these, the protein, the carbohydrates, and the fats to optimize our health, energy levels, hormones, and all that good stuff. So hopefully that made sense to you guys. Any questions for me, please let me know, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.